Now that the sun has set, well, you guessed it, temperatures, they're falling. And of course, that's because we have nice clear skies all around the region. It's already getting pretty chilly. 36 in Waco right now, 39 in Colleen, 38 in Temple, 43 in Bryan College Station. Of course, the main culprit has been this high pressure system. It's been really sitting over top of us, leaving us with nice clear skies. That leads for relatively mild afternoons, but also some pretty chilly overnight nights. This high pressure, it's going to be pushing its way to the east. When that happens, well, our winds are going to start shifting. You're kind of noticing it right now. It's slowly starting to come in from the east, kind of moving to the west, all over the place right now. Very calm, though. We're talking about anywhere between three miles an hour or less than that. A little bit of that cloud cover, that's slowly going to sneak in during the overnight hours. That's going to be leaving our temperatures, staying on the chilly side. I got about 32 for Waco and Marlin, 34 for Temple, 30 five for clean, so definitely chilly one. But despite the fact that we're going to have more of that cloud cover coming back tomorrow, so the sun's not going to be warming us up, but it's going to be those winds. They're going to be coming up from the south, bringing in some of that warmer and also a little bit more atmospheric moisture rich air back into our region. Now, if you are already out of town or you have family going to the Super Bowl, well, it's going to be pretty nice, mostly sunny in Glendale, Arizona, 73 degrees by 530 tomorrow for kickoff. Hey, before you go to the game or before you switch the channel, watch us tomorrow at five o'clock. There you go. You got us, then you got your sports. High pressure pushes out to the east. More of that cloud cover begins funneling in right ahead of our new frontal system. Now that's not really expected until late Monday night into early on Tuesday, but you're going to notice the increase in cloud cover, especially throughout the day on Monday. Very strong winds do come back to the forecast. Slight chance of sprinkles by then, but really no significant rainfall until about Tuesday. I'm got I got about half an inch to even over an inch taking place over the next five days. And of course, the only rainy chances I have, that's going to be for Tuesday and it's going to be an all day kind of event. But similar to what we saw this week, temperatures are going to continue warming up even after the front comes through. Then a secondary front comes through more so overnight on Wednesday. Then those temperatures begin falling back down. Stay tuned. Sports is we're coming up next.